I'm going to show you how to enable access-based enumeration for Windows file shares. So to start, access-based enumeration is a way to hide file shares from people who don't have access to them. So on my standard file share, I've got three folders. I've got accounts, HR and tech. Now the user I'm logged in as only has access to accounts and tech. So if I try and go into them, it lets me. But if I try and go into the HR folder, it gives me an error saying that I cannot access it. So what we can do is we can hide this folder using access-based enumeration. So to do that, we can go to our file server, go to server manager, and then file and storage services, and then go to shares. We can then right click our share, go to properties, settings, and then enable access-based enumeration. Once we've done this, we can press apply and okay, and then go back to our PC. So what we do now is log out, and the next time we log back in, where we should refresh the file share, and then access-based enumeration should be enabled. Now we've logged back in, if we go to File Explorer, and then our share, we can see that only the accounts and tech folder is here. Even though the HR one is still there, we just can't access it because we do not have the permission to the file share. Now, this is the way to enable it for a standard file share, but if you've got a DFS file share, it is slightly different. As you can see, it's the exact same folders. It even points to the same folders in the background. It's just a slightly different front end to the file share. And again, if we go to HR, we do not have access to it still. So to enable it for the DFS namespace, we can go to our DFS namespace that is in the server manager, right click properties, settings, and then make sure access based enumeration is ticked. And then what we need to do is go to uh, the DFS management console and then expand the namespace. And then for each of these folders, we need to right click and go to properties make sure, sorry, go to the DFS namespace, go to properties, advanced, and then make sure access based enumeration for this namespace is ticked. And then we need to go into the properties of each individual folder within the namespace, go to advanced, and then set some permissions on the folder. So you can add these permissions and it won't impact any of your file share because what this wizard does is it only changes access or the permissions in the DFS roots folder, which is just the link to the actual, um, it's just the link to the actual data. So changing these permissions here won't impact anyone's access to any of the files. So we can go to select explicit view permissions. So set explicit view permissions, then configure the permissions, and then just add the security group that gives access to the folder and just give it read only. And then we can okay that and then do the exact same thing for the other folders. So set the explicit view permissions, add and then the same one for tech. So now we've done that, we haven't changed any of the permissions on the actual shares. We've just changed the permissions on the DFS links. So now if we go back to our PC and then refresh, this should remove the HR and it has. So we can still get into the accounts folder and create documents, save all that stuff. It's just that the HR one has now been removed because we don't have access to that HR link. But as soon as anyone's added into the permissions of the HR group, they will get access to that correct file through the namespace. So that is how you enable access based enumeration for a standard file share and through a DFS namespace.